Rachel, uh, thank you so much. Those costumes, man. Fantastic. Every year they're fantastic. BlizzCon always has the best. Well, look, no you doubt. might have been noticing somebody sitting next to us. Joining us now, Overwatch game director Jeff Kaplan. Jeff. We're so it's happy BlizzCon to have you. Again. It's always great to be here with you guys. I feel like this is our only time we get to see each other is BlizzCon every year. Or like every now and then we're in the headquarters. We're like, hey, yeah. Jeff, like, I have to go to a meeting. Right? Yeah. Okay, see ya. How's it going? Really good. You'll see you in a month. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see so, at the show. Um, yeah, yeah. You've been a little busy. Yes. Um, you know, this year there's Overwatch World Cup, Overwatch League, Moira, a new map uh, with Blizzard World. There's oh. a lot happening with Overwatch. How are you feeling? It's awesome. The team has never been more fired up. Uh, World Cup was the first big thing that we we're really focused on. Oh, yeah. And the team used it as this big milestone. We know we have Overwatch League coming up. And we wanted Overwatch World Cup to almost be like our coming out moment where we're like, look at what Overwatch World uh, yeah. Esports could be all about. So it was really exciting for us. Yeah, it's fun. And we got to talk about Moira. I mean, yes. come on. So She's so cool. She has such She's an awesome. amazing art style and it's weird because it fits in overwatch but it feels really new how how did you guys come up with the uh, the art art design for her well our art team is amazing and arnold sang was doing a lot of the concepts for for moira and what a lot of people never caught was that we previewed moira in a doomfist comic in the back wait what yeah she's sitting at, in the back of this talon table and <laughs> well what threw people off too is they all thought she was a man they're like, who's that cool looking dude in the back? And that amazing. was Moira. Waiting. That's amazing. Well, she's just got such a cool gender bent thing because she reminds me of like a David Bowie, yeah. Tilda Swinton. Yeah. Just like a cool, Tilda Swinton, yeah. Yeah, I just love her. Like she's just got such, she's totally my kind of hero. Oh, for yeah. sure. And I definitely see a lot of shipping happening between her I... and Zenyatta. <laughs> Are we going to call it would... Moyata? That, that works. I can only imagine. Whatever ships we think of, yeah. the internet surprises me how much better theirs are. So, <laughs> I, What's been your favorite ship you've heard so far? Well, I think, I mean, Far Mercy and Mikanzo. Uh, how can you... Pharmacy is amazing. Yeah, oh, those are like pharmacy. The, the best couples. What was the and, other one? Uh, Mikanzo. I have never heard of Mikanzo, and that's fantastic. That yes. sounds amazing. Twitter, just look for Mikonzo and you will not be disappointed. Uh, yeah. I believe we now I have homework. Anytime I surf Hanzo, I'm never disappointed. <laughs> Every time I surf Hanzo, never disappointed. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, well, for you being here, what's your favorite thing to see that isn't Overwatch? Because I know you've got so much to do. Is there, like, you were a oh. Warcraft guy for such a long time. Do you get to go over and see that stuff? Absolutely. Like, when you walk in the hall and you see Sylvanas, it's mind blowing. Oh. That statue was absolutely gorgeous. And then the other thing that never gets old and just blows my mind is the Hearthstone Tavern and the Hearthstone Stage. Oh yeah. And then watching Ben Brode do the <laughs> opening ceremony. You could have just ended it with watching Ben Brode. That guy yeah, is okay. entertainment He's in so of itself. Good. Yeah. But you, my friend, did a great job at opening ceremony oh, as well because you. Yes. you were the first time that's ever been done in the Overwatch arena. It was cool. We've never kicked it between stages before. Yeah. And we were all very nervous at first. Like Ben and myself were like, are you sure this is going to work? But the guy who runs all of BlizzCon is a guy named Steve Parker. And yep. he's yeah. a genius and a visionary. And we had faith in what Steve believed in. And I think it was actually cooler than ever. In fact, I loved being in the arena because we just had people all 360 degrees and it was so loud and you could see everybody's face. You could hear it. Oh, it yeah. was, it was electric. We, were. Uh, we actually have a Twitter question for oh, you. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, this is from uh, Nalan Ban. It's... A little bit of a of a, a Sophie's choice. Ooh. Who is your favorite <laughs> Overwatch hero? I I know. You, I mean, you must have one that you like to play more than others. What I like to say, and this is the truth, and oh it's going to sound go. this is going to sound like the fluff answer, but this is the <laughs> truth. I I actually go through these phases where I shift in and out of favorite Overwatch yeah. characters. I, yeah, so, I don't think that's abnormal. Yeah. I think there's a lot of people who do that. Yeah. So where so, are you at? Okay, so I was binging on Winston. This is about yeah. three weeks ago. Okay, yeah. And I'm in a Zarya phase right now. Interesting. Um, and some of it was inspired by the, the Let's Get Physical skin from yep. Halloween. Yep. And, like, once I got my 80s boombox on, <laughs> and then I just forgot also how Badly, Zarya can just wreck people. She yeah. really does yeah. wreck. I mean, Winston can hear you, and he's sitting next to you. He's pretty upset. <laughs> oh, he's, he's already upset. Enraged, Winston. Say. So let's talk about Blizzard World. 
I okay. mean, yes. just the idea of it alone blows my mind. Was that something you guys were thinking about for a while? Is that something that came out of just a random conversation over coffee? Long time. So oh, okay. a, a concept artist named Peter Lee drew this picture of Blizzard World a long time ago. And we oh. always just said that would be the coolest place. Like, could you imagine a Blizzard theme park? And then our- and yes, we can, but yes. Yes, yep, yep. yep. But our assistant uh, game director, a guy named Aaron Keller, would not let the idea go. Aaron just believed in Blizzard World. <laughs> and every time it came, came, there came a chance to have a new map, Aaron was like, look, Blizzard exists in the Overwatch universe. D.Va is a StarCraft pro. Therefore, we are allowed to build Blizzard World and show the world how cool a Blizzard theme park could be. That's um, interesting. I never yes. even thought about being able to be like, if D.Va is a StarCraft 2 Pro, the ipso facto, we exist, so we can do whatever we want. Yes. Why we not? Had to, yeah. We had to justify it. You know there's the shark hanging out by the yeah. Booty yes. Bay section? We thought about putting a little sign out there that says, please don't jump the shark, because <laughs> maybe we did on it, <laughs> but we don't Amazing. care. Once you're in the map, you will love it. Oh, God. I hope you... That's really funny. That's amazing. I just <laughs> want that to actually become a real thing that we can go to. Like, that don't we can, jump the yeah, shark. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, no, like IRL, like actually. Yeah. Oh, go to real Blizzard, Blizzard World. World. Yeah, I'm just saying it sounds I pretty I mean, we're cool. basically here right now, but less roller coaster <laughs> yeah. rides, I think, is the only difference. And no snacks for MS. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no snacks for MS. So how are you right now with, uh, with Overwatch World Cup? Like, are there anybody that you're favoring right now? I am not allowed to favor ah, any of the teams. Oh, come I on. love the teams of the world that have qualified <laughs> our eight amazing teams. Um, I, like, I was just watching France and China. That's going yeah, on right yeah. now. Crazy UK upset, right? Yep. And, They've been uh, undefeated. And then I missed the, the Canada game, but I heard Canada like was getting crushed by Australia and then came back from, uh, it was like zero to two, and then they came back to win. Oh, so. my God. And, and what's funny is Arnold Sang, who was on the Overwatch What's Next panel, yeah, yeah. when he went onto that panel, he wore his Canada I jersey. I saw that, yeah. And they were down by two, and he's like, I hope by wearing this, it inspires the team. So Arnold's oh, Canadian. Oh, so my he was, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, so that was a pretty rad story. That's so, and cool. you guys have some cosmetic changes coming up. Is that right? Yes. So we made a bunch of Blizzard World skins which are uh, awesome. I don't know if you saw like Immortal, Arisa. You haven't seen the we skin. We haven't seen them. I can tell by the look on your face. No, we so haven't we, seen them. Uh, we have like um, Magni, Bronzebeard for Torbjorn. Oh, oh, wait a minute, we did see that in the meeting. We did oh, see yeah, Magni, yeah, yeah, Torbjorn. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. Yes, my brain is just so, melting right now, but that's awesome. Yeah, that was, Who else do you guys have? Um, we, we are also doing some of the cinematic skin. Uh -huh. Okay. So we have Eco Point May from Rise and Shine in her red coat. Amazing. Which Amazing. is really cool. Yeah, and that's then great. We do Reinhardt with the glorious hair. He's a yeah. you know, young Reinhardt from the movie this morning. And the really cool part about all that cosmetic stuff is that it's it's coming to the base loot box. So players always tell us, like, oh. they're like, we love event skins, but like, put more stuff in the basic box. Like, we just want to have more stuff there. Yeah. So those skins are just a small preview of a much bigger update that we have for the base loot box coming next year. Well, it's crazy to think that because of the fact that Blizzard World exists, now there's a whole grinding of like the Magi Torbjorn where you're like, yeah. oh, wait a minute. Who there's could so be who? Who could be yeah. who? That's fantastic. I mean, you, got, you seriously must just sit around and be like, that sounds fun, let's do it. It's the funnest job in the world. Like it's kind of <laughs> ridiculous sometimes. We just sit around and we get to work with all these amazing people, and then literally people will say an idea, and a couple days or weeks later, it's there in the game, and you're just like, yeah, let's do it. This is awesome. Have you ever had one of those ideas where you were like, this would be so great, uh, it's too much? Like, <laughs> is, there, is there ever an idea that comes out that's too much for Overwatch? We, I, I've mentioned this before. Oh. We, ha we had a hero that was uh, only known as Jetpack Cat. Okay. And Jetpack Cat never quite made the cut because we were, we were testing the art style. Oops, I lost my thing. <laughs> we were testing the art style of the game. Okay. And we were trying to come up with, like, how much is too much or how much is not enough. Yeah. And, like, Arnold drew Winston. And we're like, okay, Winston's really cool. Talking Gorilla from the yeah. Moon. Yeah. Obviously fits. But Jetpack Cat, now that's too ridiculous for Overwatch. So it we was a cat <laughs> with a jetpack. Yes. Far more ridiculous than a gorilla from outer space. Yeah. I love the. I love, I love those with the weights. Yeah. Giant talking gorilla from the moon. Yeah. With glasses. Yes. 
That is subtle enough. Well, he's <laughs> he's also a scientist and was raised by a scientist. That's true. So right. there's lore backing it up. Where the cat just has a jetpack and where did it get it? That's silly. That's, That's like ridiculous. cartoon <laughs> stuff right Ridiculous. There. Although I would like to get my cat a jetpack. Yeah. I will say that I challenge all of the cosplayers out there. Next BlizzCon. Oh yeah. I want to see a jetpack cat. <laughs> well, I will I will give you guys a little hint of yes. something awesome to come. We're doing a panel tomorrow at 10 a.m. called uh, Overwatch Archives. Okay. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's right. And it's me and Arnold Sang, and we are showing all works in progress. Oh, my God. And we're showing just as much that didn't make the game as did make the game. Amazing. Wait, wait who are you? Are I you know. guys are you Blizzard? <laughs> yeah, what's when happening? What happened to close what? the vault? Don't talk about we're, the vault. <laughs> we are going to really show cool. really cool stuff. So it's going to be a really fun panel tomorrow. And you might just see some hero ideas that never made it into the game. Do you think that there's ah. any chance in time that they could? Um, it's always pot. We can always change our mind. Um, I mean, I think some of our most ridiculously awesome heroes, which we're not going to show tomorrow, are going to see the light of day. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Oh, dude. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for coming to the couch and seeing us. And have a great BlizzCon 2017.